Scott accused killer Brian Cohey's state of mind when he killed and dismembered 69 year old uh, Grand Junction man. But first, a warning if you have small children, you may want to turn the volume down. Our Kirsten McBriar just got back from court. Kirsten, walk us through what happened in court today. Cohe reportedly admitted to killing and dismembering Warren Barnes, but he pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. That's why today's testimony from psychologist Dr. Laura Serrano Amerigo is so important. Prosecutors called her to debunk the defense claim of insanity. She told the jury about her mental evaluation. First, that he was competent to help in his own defense and that he showed no signs of psychosis or delusions surrounding the crime. But then she told the jury about a conversation where Cohe described killing Barnes. It is difficult to listen to. According to Serrano Amerigo, Cohe told her he was driving around Grand Junction when he saw what, a, what looked like a homeless person sleeping under tarps and blankets. Cohe reportedly said he had a 12-inch knife with him, a baseball bat, a mask, and three pairs of gloves. That's because he was worried about fingerprints. The doctor said Cohe admitted he uncovered Barnes, straddled him, and started to stab him 30 to 40 times. Cohe said the man woke up in a panic and asked why he was why he was being attacked. And Cohe replied, because I've wanted to do this for a long time. Another critical piece of testimony, the doctor said Cohe admitted he took pictures of the deceased, but then deleted them. He said, and I quote, I didn't want those to be seen on my phone. I didn't want to scroll one day and have somebody around and have them see them. Live, Kirsten McBrayer, KJCT News 8. Thank you, Kirsten. We now know defense attorneys plan to call a psychologist expected to testify. Cohe was insane when he killed Barnes.